often just too expensive for young people to thrive, a shocking new study shows that about a quarter of 20-somethings say they plan to leave the city and surrounding areas in the next five years. Good evening. I'm Paula Evan. And I'm Chris Tanaka. Most say they are happy here. They just can't afford it. As WBC's Paul Burton shows us, many feel they can live somewhere else without that financial struggle. I'm paying a lot of money. It's really hard to find places. A new survey shows a large number of young people are planning to move out of the greater Boston area. People are telling us that, you know, they, they're willing to leave. According to the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce Foundation, 25% of people ages 20 to 30 years old intend to move somewhere else over the next five years. The survey shows high rent costs, the ability to buy a home, and career prospects all play a role. So certainly the housing cost of rent, I mean, that, that, that screamed at you as you read the survey results. Not surprisingly, uh, transportation issues. Nico George just moved here with his girlfriend. Their rent is $3,000 a month. Do you see yourself staying here a long time? Uh, it depends. I want to go to medical school. Okay. So it depends on where I go for that. $2,200 with a roommate. Maddie Hall is a travel nurse. Right now, she lives in Southie, which took her three months to find. Yeah. Would you stay here long term? And probably just a few years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I have to move out. The chamber says young people are prioritizing mental health and personal relationships more than their careers. The Chamber Foundation said in order to ensure young people want and choose to remain in Greater Boston, public officials must address important issues involving available jobs, home ownership, and rent costs. This survey says that it's very important to maintaining uh, in keeping young people in Greater Boston, which, by the way, is our competitive advantage. Uh, we can't lose people at a very high rate. 27-year-old Christine Kohler lives in Chinatown. She pays $1,900 a month. Needless to say, I'm moving. She says the stresses of a healthy work-life balance is hard to maintain. It's just too expensive to have, like, a social life. Oh. And it's too bad because it's a great city. In Boston, I'm Palmer, WBZ News.